I don't care who you are, man or woman. If you have to project your misfortunes along with ill psychological health and any other worldly programmed plague plaguing you and preventing you from living the life that the gospel clearly has promised you that you could potentially live. If you have to do all of these things in order to make yourselves feel good and feel better, in order to make yourselves convinced fully that, or should I say convinced fully, that you're actually in fact winning in life, you are in for one rude awakening. You're not only in for one rude awakening, but you deserve every bad thing that happens onto you for doing what you do onto those of us that are trying to get our life in order in here, in here we live in a world, you know, where there's too many excessive takers rather than contributors and this is why I don't get on with people people are assholes a lot of the time if not 99.9% .9 of the time I'm still waiting for me to actually meet some realists, you know, that aren't going to take. I don't get on with people. It's the same with these fake wannabe alphas, you know, that go around doing their dirty deeds onto others, actually thinking for one minute that they're getting away with their dirty deeds when they're getting away with jack shit. You know, if anything, they're going to contribute all of the bad that they've inflicted upon us for their self gain they're going to inflict that and they're going to inf um, inflict it upon themselves so darn hard that they are also going to crush and defeat themselves like they're attempting to do with us and then they're not going to be so high and almighty and smug you know when they actually see us get back up on our feet and push forward after their temporary victory win of knocking us on our ass if anything they're going to rile themselves up they're going to hate themselves all the more because we are technically something that they will never be nor ever amount to because they have to live outside of god's will they have to do everything dirty everything sadistic in order to climb that mountain like i said you know, if the devil wants to use people in the attempt to drag me down from that mountain and throw me off, I am taking those that did me dirty with me as well. Now you're at the bottom of the pile, and you are going to have to work your way back up to catch up with me. And don't think for one minute, you know, that if you're going to try and do me dirty again, that I'm not going to grab you by the ankle and take you with me, because I am. A lot of you are going to think that's a coward's move. That's your perception. It's not mine. I don't care. You know, if people want to play dirty in today's society, thinking that, you know, they're living the best life by inflicting pain, suffering, and, you know, all of their ill healths, as you will, and misfortunes, they're sadistic. They're sadistic. They laugh and joke about it now. Until the same is actually done onto them, however many folds over. Until they actually begin to reap everything that they inflict upon us. However many folds over. And ironically, it's these same people that come crawling back crying for our help later. No. You're on your own. You know. It is what it is. <laughs> Unlike you fakesters out there, I've not got any images to maintain. I'm me. I'm free. That is it. It's a wrap.